our acorn croquette with dried virginica flour, red bud caper, pickled oyster mushroom babies, and this is the amaranth wild grass porridge. Okay, I need to get work on my tortillas. You're from St. Louis. Born and raised. But you've been in Santa Fe, or near Santa Fe, for what, 30 years? So I went off to undergrad back in 86, and I went to undergrad in New Orleans, and then went off and got my doctorate, and, and have had two careers after that before I started cooking. Uh, my background's uh, social psychology is sport and exercise, of course. sports psychologist, <laughs> and I also was marketing and advertising in my undergrad, uh, but I've always cooked, always, and I've never not cooked everything from scratch, even way back then. Um, it's just now things have gotten more sophisticated in what I do. I take a little piece of every place I've lived, and it's definitely incorporated into my food. The menu is a, it's a tasting menu, and for me that means not just a bunch of interesting plates, but everything has a progression. Mm -hmm. You know, as we go through this, we're ultimately building up like a musical piece to the point that we get to the entree, which is gonna be a sous vide roasted duck. Okay. And it's gonna have the crisp skin, but it's gonna be very moist. And throughout here, we have interesting flavors tying in all these foraged ingredients. Okay. This all looks good. I think we can make it a great night. All right, let's do it. During the day, Frank, who I've known for a long time, he is the marketing guru for Caldi's, but in your past life, you were a chef. Yeah. And this is not a restaurant series. Seems to really dovetail with your love for that. Yeah, it has. I mean, I after college went to culinary school in Italy and then worked there, worked in New York City, came back here and was in a restaurant here for a long time and eventually just got out of it. And uh, I've been with Caldi's now for 10 years, uh, but I still have the passion for cooking. Like I absolutely love it. I've been able to use some of that towards Caldi's, but then also some of these side projects like This Is Not A Restaurant. So the way This Is Not A Restaurant works is that you go out and find really interesting food people. Yeah. They can be chefs, they can be people like me. I've actually right. done a This Is Not A Restaurant dinner. Very good one. It was very fun. Um, but, so what is the process? Um, you know, there's pop-up restaurants around St. Louis, around the region, which I think is an awesome concept. We wanted to create something where the space always remained the same, but it was kind of a one night stand with a chef or a foodie or a culinarian. So a lot of these folks, when they come in, they don't have active restaurants. Yeah. They are testing out different ideas. So Rob Connolly, he is gonna be opening up a place called Bull Rush. And this is his second or third dinner here? He, this will be his second. His second. Yeah, he's from St. Louis, has been away I think for 30 years. Uh, has been in the Southwest for a number of years, had a place there, which I hear was just incredible. Uh, but he's back. But I don't know how many people know Rob's story. So for you know an event like tonight, there's gonna be 32 fresh faces that not only get to eat Rob's food, but get to know Rob. As much as it is about the food, it's about the connection with the chef. Tell me about the concept for Bull Rush. The concept is without making it an issue of saying hyper seasonal, hyper local, that's what we're doing because it's foraged. We're gonna go out pretty much every morning, gather things, bring them back and serve them. The most basic question that every forager has to have the answer, what will kill me? Because when I go through the woods, as long as I know what's gonna kill me, I can eat everything. And I find a lot of surprises doing that. And once you know that you're not gonna die and it tastes good, even if you've never heard of anyone else eating it, then you've got a new ingredient. And we're discovering things all the time. So these are some of the things that we've gathered this past week. And even this morning, Justin went out and gathered some fresh things. And this is a spice bush. And uh, a lot of people have foraged the spice bush berry but the buds and the twigs themselves are usable. This is dandelion flower salt. I think it's gonna end up being with an acorn croquette. Okay. We do a lot with acorns in this kitchen um, and, and the fried acorn croquette is just 
it's begging for this floral aroma and the salt. So how do these types of like pop-up or one-off dinners, how do they help you solidify your concept? They're good testing grounds. Um, my last restaurant was successful. My customers were very loyal. Here, no one knows me. They don't know my food. They don't know my background. They could care less. Not only that, there's a hundred other great chefs in town. So being able to do these pop-ups gives me a safe environment. There's an intimacy where I get immediate feedback. To me, I need to know if people enjoy the food, like every meal, not just every meal, every plate, not just every plate, every bite. And these pop-ups, it gives me that snapshot version of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Here, we're gonna get through the night, people are gonna love it, and uh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time with the guests talking to them about the foraging concept and why I do it. Uh, but what I look forward to is at the end, listening to the, what they're talking about. Are they talking about the Blues and the Cardinals? I hope so, <laughs> but I really hope they're talking about the acorn croquette, or I didn't know you could eat chickweed. That's what I really want to hear. I've never had a chance to really taste Missouri in the way that you're going to be able to really bring that to the plate. And that's what I'm excited about, is the surprises. And I'm sure that everybody sitting here tonight is gonna to have their minds and their hearts open to this kind of journey that you're gonna take them on. We're doing four by eight, so eight rows. Okay. Everything should be pre-counted, but we're double checking. Two, four, six, there should be two more rows. Two, four, six, seven, 28, 30. All right, guys, if I can have your attention, please, we're gonna go ahead and get started. My name's Frank. I wanted to welcome you guys to This Is Not A Restaurant. Uh, this thing's been going on now for well over a year. I think we've run through close to 20 chefs uh, who've come in and done their thing for a night or two and then disappeared. So uh, we're excited. You guys are here. You're in for a really special treat. Uh, but I also wanted to introduce Chef Rob Connolly. Uh, Chef Rob is a native of St. Louis, has been gone for about 30 years, and we're fortunate enough to have him back. Uh, he's in the middle of opening Bull Rush, uh, his restaurant that's going to open here soon in St. Louis. And I think what you're going to experience tonight will just be a sneak peek of what the concept and vibe of his restaurant's gonna be. Well, thanks for coming. My sous chef, Justin, and I will be describing each course as the night goes on. A lot of the food that you're having was gathered a year ago, two years ago, um, because we ferment and cure and pickle and do all these things that take a long time. And then it all comes together on a plate in about 30 seconds, you eat in two spoonfuls and it's gone. <laughs> what we do here is hyper fresh. Justin and I have been foraging all week and uh, you're gonna eat it now. And so I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you again, and let's start eating. This is a foraged acorn financier. The yellow powder is a cattail pollen. We also have red bud jelly, uh, grape mustarda, and this is, I don't wanna say it's the essence of the forest floor. That's a little too pretentious, right? But th this is what Justin Ford's just this morning, he got a whole bunch of interesting things and turned it into a drink for you. Enjoy. You have an acorn croquette in front of you. Underneath that is a wild grass and amaranth seed porridge. Um, there are pickled red bud capers, pickled oyster mushrooms from last fall, and then uh, the Virginia bluebell flowers that Rob mentioned earlier, they're on there two ways. There's fresh and dehydrated also. And a trout lily leaf on there too. Thank you. Okay, your next course. This is a duck taco. Black beans, uh, forage sumac duca. We've got black trumpet fermented honey drizzled on the top. Uh, field garlic powder, chickweed, uh, and the tortilla itself, which is underneath, is made out of acorn. Enjoy. Thanks 
for coming today. Absolutely. How's this end of the table? Okay. Woo. How was it? Thank you again for coming tonight. Um, I do want to tell you a little bit about Bull Rush, which will be coming uh, hopefully later this year. You, you see what the concept is. We forage, we come back, we cook. Everything will be super special. It's meant to be an experience. It's not your every weekend restaurant. I want to see you on your birthdays, your anniversaries, your divorces, whatever, I don't care. Come celebrate with us. I want to give you a meal like tonight that you've never had before and never will again. Um, to avoid doing dishes, I'll be hanging out out here. <laughs> it's true. 